What's up everybody? So Coco and I got invited today to go disc golfing. Now, where are you going? We are going disc golfing with a couple friends. Jamie, you guys probably know Jamie from uh, one of my past videos. <laughs> and his wife, Abby. So we're gonna go out and enjoy that. Now, neither of us are really like much of disc golfers, but Jamie is, and we're gonna give it a shot. The goal of today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to mildly inconvenience Jamie throughout the entirety of the day. If you don't know what that is, you're gonna find out real soon. But we're gonna try our hand at disc golf, and while we're at it, we're gonna inconvenience Jamie just a little bit, all the time. There's number one. Will this set fire if I film near you? Yeah. While you're gassing up? Look out! <laughs> Me and Coco are doing a thing called mild inconvenience. Hmm. So I'm showing people what that is. I'm not inconvenienced. That's mild, at all. mild. Alright. Goodbye, stuff. Goodbye. What you getting? A triple X. Ooh. You getting a candy? Alright, please, no. you can see you, man. See ya, Gator. Oh, nice. <laughs> So here's the thing about mild inconveniencing people. It's got to be inconvenient, but it can't be like terrible. <laughs> you son. That, that is a mild inconvenience right there. Oh, that dirty windshield, dude. Look at that smudge. Gotcha. <laughs> so we just got to Wonder View. We're going to play couple rounds of disc golf. It's not fair that Jamie doesn't have to carry a single disc. His wife is doing it all for him. <laughs> my wife has her purse and I'm stuck here holding all my stuff. Look at that view. This is pretty sweet, right? This is Jamie's dream. This is so cool. Oh, Coco found her place. <laughs> what are you going with, Jamie? My newly found disc, the Bolts, PDGA oh. approved. Oh. So you found that and didn't try and contact the owner? I don't, there's nothing. I would have. Yeah, he scratched nothing. it off. He scratched <laughs> it off. All right, dude, show us the proper technique. It'll play. The beast. So what you guys don't know about me is I've been playing disc golf for, this is probably my fifth game now. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys know my wife, you know Jamie, <laughs> who you don't know um, is Abby, yeah. who is Jamie's wife. She was born without, Go ahead. without any oh, kneecaps, oh, so she has kind of a weird time walking. Okay. Alright babe, you got this. Okay, I don't know where I'm throwing it, so I'm just gonna... Straight ahead. It's up there a little bit too much. Boom! Oh! Alright, how do you feel about that? Um, not the best. You got this, no kneecaps, you can do it. <laughs> Philippians 4.13. <laughs> That's a Sweet. look of victory right there. No kneecaps Let's go get them suckers. But eat that child. Oh. Yeet! I need to work on my form. Hey, that's like where I was at. Nice. Be ready. Be amazed. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh, Amazing! You hit two trees. Did you see what the par was on this one, Jamie? It's probably three. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna throw it around this tree and it's gonna bend into the mid-air. It's gonna bed into the mid air. Oh. Sure enough. Mid air. Okay. I'm trying a new strategy. Grandma. Wow. You got it. You got it. Crush it. Okay. I like to whisper too. Oh no. Oh. A little off. Go for it, babe. Should I do this way again? Yeah, that like worked that real good successful. the first time. Nope. Oh. Bummer. I think you gave my... Here's one if you want. Oh, my kneecap. At least you have them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is not a bad course at all. Nope. What did, you, what did you make on that last one? Par. Par? Yeah. I did too, surprisingly. All right, so where's the... See it down there. Oh, yep. There's a little red flag. 
Nice. All right, my turn. Just straight down, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hit a tree. Oh! Hey, that was not straight at all. <laughs> Got it, Abby. That'll help. <laughs> yep, that'll help. <laughs> she doesn't have elbows either. <laughs> All these plants look poisonous, so I'm gonna try and not to touch pretty much anything. So me and Jamie actually made some leeway on our throws. The girls are behind a little bit. Okay, I guess I'm filming while doing this one, which I'm not very comfortable with, but the thing is right over that way. Oh, that tree, dude. Shoot, what a bummer. Oh, almost. All right, babe, show us what we're made of. What we're made of? Yeah, Jones. Hey, oh gosh. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Nice. I hit like every tree. That's why they call me Tiger. Oh, <laughs> nice, Bubba. Yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't mess up. Oh, wow. Abby, uh -huh. did you ever think when you were just a wee little girl that you would one day marry a disc golf only in my wildest dreams. But it was, it was on the mind, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's it? Oh, my goodness. Stop rolling. <laughs> Plus seven. I'm going to have to get below par on the next nine holes. A lot of people ask me, why disc golf? And I always, I always give them the same answer every time. Because Jamie has discs. And he's the only one, like my only friend here. Mild inconvenience. <laughs> just ask it. You think I'm playing? Yeah. Same time. Oh. Oh. Seven up. Seven up. Whoa. One of my least favorite drinks. Yeah. Let's go play it. The goal, like normal golf, is to score as little as possible. So your score should be at a straight zero. Anything above zero is bad. Anything below zero is good. I'm at like a plus nine right now. What are you at, Jamie? Plus two. So I'm, I'm losing. Yeah. I'm losing. But in yeah. life, I'm also losing. <laughs> oh. So Jamie told me that if I ace or get a hole in one on any of these things, he'll take the pie in the face for me today at the what? end of the video. Look at you cheerleading. Ooh. Perfect. You got it, Bob. Oh. As you can see, I went way further than Jamie on this one. But then again, that's just how I roll. desire of 400 feet as the crow flies. We need a good old fashioned uh, wager. Okay, wager me. Any ace that I get, you take the pie to the face. <laughs> that ace. So are you, is it a yes? Yeah. <laughs> what if Jamie gets an ace? Yeah, what if I get an ace? What? Then you take two pies in the face. Oh. Oh. Okay. Phone. <laughs> yeah. For Narnia. There's trees everywhere in this wilderness. Would you hurry up? Goodness gracious. Look at that. Oh. Hey Dang, that was a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey nice. Nice. Clipped a tree. Wobbly. Okay, babe, throw that sucker. 
Okay. Take five steps to the right. What? Believe it? It was it. Okay, whatever. It. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I not know this about me, but I'm extremely allergic to poison ivy. <laughs> so anything in the wilderness, I'm freaked out by. And just look at that. That's where my disc is. Straight wilderness. That was quite scintillating. You know what that means, scintillating? Nope. It's not a word. You're quite scintillating. <laughs> That's a pretty cool view. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Ace. Whoa. I didn't ace it, but... Oh, ah! I'll try my own shoe. <laughs> oh. So this one they decided to put at the top of Mount Everest. They've already made it up. You're gonna have to make camp. Yeah, this is so hard. If anybody's gonna ace, this is the hole to do it. Oh, so that close. That was pretty good though. That right? was so close. <laughs> A little off. <laughs> it went like as far right as it could go. Are you having the time of your life? The time of my life. The time of my life. And I oh, never I felt this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we tried. <laughs> we did our best. Oh. The spirit is blooming, but the flesh is weak. Don't let it roll. Don't let it roll. Play it as it flies. Farther away than when I started. I'm at like plus affinity right now. What's your favorite false fact about Abby? She has the Guinness World Record for longest fingernails of all time. What in the world? Let's see him. No, You're she's cut ready. him. She oh. cut him. <laughs> the world's not ready. Yeah. The world's not ready for that. <laughs> Except it's in the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, you can look her up, but she's cut him. There. Coco has the Guinness Book of World Records for the biggest corn on her feet. Oh. <laughs> Let's see those puddocks. She has to get her shoes specially made with <laughs> hidden compartments so that oh, gross. it's not gross. It's a disease. She needs love instead of judgment. <laughs> Jesus, take the disc. Come, D'Artagnan. We're saving the king. You know a movie that's off of? Your mom. <laughs> I love you, mom. Don't don't offend her by that. Whoa, whoa. Hey. I got a splinter because of you. Fine. Did you learn anything new? I learned that uh these are awesome. Too slow! <laughs> so we're back in the car. I didn't do very well. None of us scored an ace. I made like a what did you get again, Jamie? 59. 59. He made a 59. The par was 56. 56. So he was only three over. I'm pretty sure I made like an 80 That's or an 85. Yeah, are you sad that you didn't get to uh, put two pies in my face today? That's good. I'm sad that I didn't get to switch your spots. That would have been nice. You said you wouldn't even be in this position if you better understood what you were asking about the Smurfs. 190. Five Smurfs. No, there is plenty of people who voted with me. And they're all equally as wrong. No, they <laughs> they, they didn't want to listen to logic. They just wanted to see me get pied in the face. Everybody voted for Coco. No. That's no. exactly what happened. It's Probably logic. you don't know. It's logic. It, yeah, it's logic. For it, the Smurfs would win. The 195 yes. pound person would. No. Hard no. You know that, you know in Wizard of Oz when the, the straw man's like, if I only had a brain. It's like, you know, that's silly. Like, of course he has a brain. He's walking. But now I understand that people can exist without <laughs> brains. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys. We'll see you. Uh, later, guys. See ya. Bye. I'll close it. Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right, well, that was the end of that video. You guys refused to listen to sound clear logic with the Smurfs 
I was the only one to put any effort in into actually convincing you guys that the Smurfs would win. It is what it is. I'm a man of my word, and I'm gonna get pied for it. Coco gets to do the honors. Yes. Are you guys ready? Can you oh see my this? gosh. Can you see this? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Could not even breathe. <laughs> that was that was intense. There's still so much left on. That was like chewing five gum. No, <laughs> don't you dare. There you have it. Team Smurfs. Smurfs win. Woo -woo. But in real life, if you ever find yourself against 195 Smurfs, you better hope that you win. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.